What's up everyone, Steven here with Neural DSP, and today I'm gonna to show you how you can combine components from different Neural DSP plugins. If you've ever wanted to use the AMP section from one plugin, but the effects section from another, this video is for you. I'm going to cover two approaches to combining plugin components using a DAW or DAW and a free modular host called Kushview Element, which gives you a lot of routing flexibility. Let's start with a simple guitar chain. Now, I want to use the octave pedal in the archetype Gojira at the start of my chain, but I want to run it through the amps in the archetype Nolly. I'll start by opening the archetype Gojira and then disabling all the sections aside from the pitch effects by right clicking or double clicking the icons. Next, I'll open the archetype Nolly, and the signal will be processed by the archetype Gojira first, then the archetype Nolly. But be sure to turn off the noise gates in the subsequent plugins, since you already have the first plugin's noise gate. Next, I'm going to disable the time effects section in the archetype Nolly and instead use the time effects in the archetype Cory Wong because I want to dial in a specific delay sound and use the shimmer on the reverb pedal. And one more important thing to note, this track is a mono track and this final plugin, I'm pulling it from mono to stereo so that way I can have a ping pong delay with the delay pedal. Next up, let's look at Kushview Element. Element is a modular host that allows you to route plugin blocks in a single window with a ton of routing flexibility. You'll start with the audio input, then you can configure each additional block, turning on or off components as you require. So let's go ahead and build a similar plugin chain, except I'm going to switch out the octave pedal with the Fortin Grind pedal. And I'll be doing this because I want to show off a particular strength of these modular hosts.
The strength of this method is the routing. It's very easy to set up creative parallel routing or signal paths to multiple rigs. For example, combining your overdriven pedal with your original DI tone is a great way to find a mix between the two, and using a modular host makes things much easier to set up. For this example, I have the Fortin Cali suite with the Fortin grind at the beginning of my signal, but say I wanted to kind of round out the tone a little bit because the grind is making my signal a little bit too dry, sticking out a little bit more low end than I like. I can create a additional Kali VST because I want the processing times to be the same. I'll go ahead and disengage these. I left the Fortin Zool on, but I'll leave the Fortin grind off. The gate's the same. I'll save that, route this. So now I have my audio input filtering to f two instances of the Fortin Cali suite, one with the grind on, one with the grind off, both of those to the archetype Nolly. So I'm combining my signal after the Fortin grinds and combining the two signals. So let's listen to what that sounds like. <laughs> Whichever method you choose, the benefit is that you are not confined to a single neural DSP plugin. You can mix and match components from each of them to craft new tones. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you like this sort of content, you want to see more like it, go ahead and leave your thoughts in the comments down below. While you're there, leave a like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for notifications on when we upload new content to this channel. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.